there is Godfrey. I'm just so mad about her, you know. Um, so Godfrey, there you are. Unmuted. Okay. Here is I it am. great that you're unmuted? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, and are you looking forward to our lovely festival on the 17th to the 19th of September? Oh, I am. I am. I, can, I cannot wait to catch up with you, my friend down there, you know. And um, to meet, and we again. can meet in person again. The last time we met in person was in Fanoog about two years ago, and we barely knew one another at that stage. Did I meet you in Fanoog? You did. You did indeed. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Francis, <laughs> Francis Kennedy introduced us, but briefly, but briefly, you know. So, um, and I'm looking forward, as you say. Uh, you know, I, I, I have to take you out to lunch because you gave me a beautiful picture mm -hmm. and I love it. And it's going to go up. And it better way. be an expensive lunch, too. Absolutely. We have to, <laughs> we have, to have all the accoutrement, a little bit of wine. It, that could be dangerous now with the two of us. That's the only I, thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, Godfrey, I'm going to let you off. I can't wait. The last time you told us a story, there was mice involved and it was pure true and I loved it. So I can't wait to see what happens tonight. Well, okay then. Now, we've talked about hands across the water. Well, we're gonna go far away over to the other side of the world because I am gonna tell you the story about Ms. Possum. Now, Ms. Possum loved to eat. She loved to eat snails and ants and ticks, but what she liked more than anything else in the world was frogs. Oh, she would get herself some frogs. She'd take her tote sack and she'd go down to the frog pond and she'd catch herself a mess of frogs, put them all in the tote sack, go home and cook up some frog casserole, frog fricassee. And if there was a picnic coming up, she'd made the best frog salad sandwiches. Well, she'd go down there, but after a while, them frogs started catching on. They started to get a little smart. So that when she went down to the frog pond with her tote sack, them frogs would all jump into the pond so she couldn't get to them. They'd sink all the way down to the bottom of the pond and then they'd float right back up to the top with only their little bug eyes showing. And they'd say, you can't get us, you can't get us. And she couldn't either. She had to go home with an empty toad sack. And after a while, she was just getting so hungry. She'd have to go to the dumpster and she'd have to get herself some garbage and she'd go home and she'd make some garbage casserole and garbage fricassee and if there was a picnic she'd have to take garbage salad sandwiches well it was just awful just just awful well one day she was cooking up some garbage stew and her friend, Ms. Molly Hare, come in to the house. And she said, Ooh, we Ms. Possum, what are you a cooking that smells nasty? And Ms. Possum said, Well, I'm cooking garbage stew. Y'all want some? And Ms. Molly Hare said, No, I don't think so, honey. I don't think why, why on earth are you cooking garbage stew? So Miss Possum told her, she said, I used to go down to the frog pond and catch myself some frogs, but they got smart all of a sudden. And now when I get down there, they all jump into the pond and they sink all the way down to the bottom. Then they float back up to the top with only their little bug eyes showing. And they say, you can't get us, you can't get us. And I can't get them neither. Well, <clears throat> Ms. Possum said, Ms. Molly Hare, that is no way for a possum to live. We're gonna have to think on it. What can we, oh, I got an idea. 
Now listen, this, she looked out the door. She looked out the window, make sure no frogs was listening. And she said, I better whisper so they don't know what we're up to. And she said, when well, we're down to the bus, I'm going to send them to the vehicle. But please, but get some, okay? All right? Well, Miss Possum said, I think it's going to work. Let's do it. So she got her tote sack and they went off towards the frog pond. But before they got there, Ms. Molly Hare hid in the bushes. And Ms. Possum went there. The frogs heard her coming. They all jumped into the frog pond, sank all the way down to the bottom, then floated back up to the top with only their little bug eyes showing. And they said, you can't get us. You can't get us. And Miss Molly, Miss Possum, she sighed and she said, no, no, I don't even know why I'm trying, why I've done. <gasps> Suddenly she clutched at her heart and she said, oh no, oh, oh no, what's happening? And she twirled around and she fell down on the ground and she didn't move. Well, the frogs looked at her. She's not moving. Do you think she's dead? Do you think she's dead? Uh, Ms. Possum, y'all dead? Y'all dead up there? She didn't move. She didn't answer. So all them little frogs come hopping out of the pond and they surrounded her and they was poking at her. And they said, Ms. Possum, y'all dead? Huh, y'all dead? And they said, she's dead. Uh -huh. She's dead. She ain't going to bother us. No, no. Woo Hallelujah. All of a sudden, Ms. Molly Hare come running out of the bushes. What's going on? What's going on? Why is my friend lying there on the ground? And then Frog said, well, <laughs> she's dead. She's dead. She can't bother us no more. And Miss Molly Hare said, well, <laughs> Why are y'all laughing? My best friend in the whole world is gone and done died. Oh, and well, the frogs felt bad after that. They felt so bad. They said, well, well we're sorry. We're sorry. What well, maybe, well, is there anything we can do? Miss Molly here said, well, Y'all could help me bury her. Would y'all dig a hole to bury her in, my friend? <sighs> and the frogs said, yeah, we'll do it. We'll do it. We'll do it. And they started digging all around Ms. Possum. They dug around her and they dug under her so that her body was just sinking right down into the ground where they was a digging. And they got about that far down and they said, uh, Ms. Molly Hare, is that, is that deep enough? And Ms. Molly Hare said, well, can y'all jump out? Well, all them frogs would jump right out, no problem. She said, no, no, it ain't deep enough yet. Just keep on digging. So they started digging. They was digging here. They was digging there. Some on some side and none on the other side and they were digging under her and they were got a big old deep hole. And they said, Ms. Molly Hare, is it deep enough yet? Ms. Molly Hare said, can y'all jump out? And they said, yeah, I think so. And they all jumped. Some of them slid back in, but they jumped and they all managed to get out. And Ms. Molly Hare said, no, ain't deep enough yet. So they was digging some more. They dug and they dug and they dug and they dug until they got a deep old hole dug. And they said, Miss Molly Hare, we're tired. Is the hole deep enough? Miss Molly Hare said, can y'all jump out? And they jumped. And they jumped and they slid back down. They could not reach the top. And Miss Molly Hare said, well, you know, I think it might be deep enough now. What do you think, Miss Possum? 
Miss Possum sat up and she said, I think it's deep enough now. And she started grabbing frogs and putting them in her tote sack. And she tied a good knot in it, threw it on up to Molly Hare. Molly Hare helped her out of the hole. They went back to Miss Possum's house. She threw out all that garbage stew and she started making, oh, she made herself the best, the best frog meals. She canned frog pickles. She put the frog stew in jars. She made frog casseroles, put them in the freezer. Oh, she just cooked up a whole mess of stuff because she knew that them frogs down at the frog pond the ones that was left and the young ones, they were going to catch on to her again. But she had enough put away till the young ones grew up without knowing what was going on. And you know what? Ms. Possum ate happily ever after. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That's, I'm absolutely exhausted after that because I was... I was being a little froggy in my head while you were telling that story, <laughs> Godfrey. Godfrey. I, we, we used to do plays of that when I taught preschool. Oh. And I read the kids loved it. But one time, only one time, one little girl said, but that's mean, teacher Godfrey, eating all those poor <laughs> <What> frogs. <laughs> <laughs> Godfrey. Did you hear about um, the chicken who didn't want to go into the library because of COVID? No, I didn't. So she turned to her friend, the frog, and she went, bok, 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 bok. And he went in and he brought out a whole load of books. And she said, do you like those books? And he went, read it, read it, read it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm telling you, they, they shouldn't leave the two of us off together, but they will. In Listol from the 17th to the 19th of September. Yep. So if you want to join the fun, make sure. I'll you also, them. if if you if if you like stories about frogs, I will tell the true story about the time my sister turned into a bullfrog. Oh, lads. I wouldn't lie to you. Lads, you don't want to miss that. And she never tells <laughs> lies. It's always pure true. Thank you so much, Godfrey. Thank mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. Talk to you. <laughs>